Welcome to Data Governance Module 2, Section 2. My name is Pat Cupoli. I am the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, Pace at IT, Data Management Program. In Section 2, we will go over the development and enforcement of data management controls. We will cover the primary activities, areas of study, and primary takeaways. Primary activities as described in the DEMA DMBAC include the following. Supervise data professional organizations and staff. Coordinate data governance activities. Manage and resolve data related issues. Monitor and ensure regulatory compliance. Monitor and enforce conformance with data policy standards and architecture. Oversee data management projects and services and communicate and promote the value of data assets. Areas of study where you should be able to answer questions at the end of the section include the following. Why should data professional organizations and staff be supervised? What data governance activities need coordination? How are the data related issues resolved? How would regulatory compliance be achieved? How should data policy standards and architecture be monitored? Why should data management projects and services be managed? How can the value of data assets be communicated and promoted? Primary takeaways include the following. Data governance is the vehicle for identifying, managing, and resolving several different types of data related issues. The Data Governance Council sponsors and approves the enterprise data model and other related aspects of data architecture. Data standards should be reviewed, approved, and adopted by the Data Governance Council. Data, gov data standards and guidelines must be effectively communicated, monitored, enforced, and periodically reevaluated. Part of the data governance function is to monitor and ensure regulatory compliance. Data governance guides the implementation of adequate controls to ensure, document, and monitor compliance with data-related regulations. 